Greetings. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm Anna. I'm a little bit spooky. And today we're talking about Charlotte Tilbury. We're going to talk about the beautiful skin, sun kiss, sun, the beautiful skin, beautiful skin, sun kiss, glow, bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a beautiful cream bronzer product. And we're going to go through all the details, the claims, and we're going to do a little demo and talk about the shade range and all the things. So if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know some more bronzers you would like me to test out on my pretty ghostly skin tone. I am wearing a little self tan today, but anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the details. So we're talking about the beautiful skin sun sun kissed glow bronzer. The name of this is so, so long, but this is a cream bronzer product from Charlotte Tilbury. It is massive, which is <laughs> really, really awesome beautiful embossing here which is still here and I've used this nearly every day since I got it I've had about a month and the formula here it is kind of firm in the pan it has kind of a moussey powdery feel almost it is not a super greasy balmy cream at all this is a very like soft matte feel it does remind me quite a bit of the elf putty bronzers so if you're having trouble getting your hands on this and it is pretty pricey Honestly, you could probably just grab you an e.l.f. putty bronzer and get the same effect. No one would really know the difference. This one just made look a tad more matte on the skin. But as far as like the finish, it's pretty similar. Like they feel really similar in texture. They have that kind of dimethicone silicone feel. And they, the ingredient deck does list comparable ingredients somewhat. There's a lot of dimethicone and silicone in both of these. And yeah, they both tout different kind of skincare claims. But I think you could probably do it with the e.l.f. one. I haven't compared shades really or anything like that. I'm just speaking of a general like finish look on the face. I don't think tan lines is too terribly off from the shade medium, which is what I have. Yeah, actually, these are pretty damn close. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> But we're not talking about the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, which is a lovely product, by the way. I do enjoy the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer quite a bit. We're talking about Charlotte Tilbury. So let's read through some of these claims here and talk all about it. This does retail for $56, which is a, quite a chunk, but it's a beautiful compact, very, very sturdy, beautiful mirror within. You can kind of see your whole face. Really nice as far as that goes. I do have the shade 2 Medium, which is the second to lightest shade. And I can make this work with a very light hand on my very... Very fair skin tone when I do not have self tan on. And when I have self tan on, it is perfection. I do really kind of want that lighter shade. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very pretty. It does come in four shades. You have light, medium, I think like a medium deep, and then a deep, which the deep is sold out currently in it. And the light shade is sold out. It, it's been sold out forever. Product details here from Miss Charlotte. Darlings, get the summer glow look and feel with my new beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer enriched with hyaluronic acid sunshine pro vitamin d3 this cream bronzer is the secret for instant sun kissed and beautiful healthy looking beachy bronzed glow every day one sold every 30 seconds on launch day available in four sun kissed shades start applying a small amount before building up to your desired beachy bronze which I do think is a great tip for that you'll see in my demo how I do take off a bit of product on the palm of my hand or my wrist and kind of work it into a looser type of blush brush to apply this rather than a dense cream brush that you would might normally think it says here my first ever cream bronzer blurs hydrates adds a wash of sun-kissed color to your complexion while improving your skin every time you wear it. Like a portal to your best self, this new bronzing beauty secret will transport you to the world's most mesmerizing beaches to unlock the summer glow and feel. Glide onto the face and body for a gorgeous sun-kissed glow from head to toe. And they do sell a, comp a brush that complements the product. Lasts up to 16 hours, sweat proof and humidity proof. Skin is two times more hydrated in one hour. Skin looks smoother up to 42% in 28 days. 99% agree this product will give your skin a healthy bronze glow. 92% agree this product improves the look of skin with each wear. 
93% agree the skin feels instantly hydrated. This contains hyaluronic acid. Quenching waves of hyaluronic acid deeply hydrate the skin, lock in moisture for smoother, hydrated looking skin. Sunshine Pro Vitamin D, which I think is kind of interesting, this product or this ingredient, converts to vitamin D on exposure to the sun for an even sun kissed glow. Finely milled pearls reflect the light for an illuminating bronze glow with healthy looking skin. Elastomer Elastic Polymer for a glow glide a texture that stretches over the skin for a second skin effect. Soft focus silica smooths appearance of skin and feel. Helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Film forming resin like a magic shield that seals in the skincare that seals in the skincare benefits to improve the look of skin instantly and over time humidity resistant and long lasting silky polymers for even flawless coverage of face and body okay so those are some pretty cool claims here i do think it, it is neat that it has something that like is activated by the sun in it being a bronzer like that's pretty cool right but yeah it has the folly mill pearls that give it a very kind of skin like natural reflex where it doesn't look super heavy matte on the skin and it just it looks very skin like and i like that it kind of has that kind of uh, what's described as almost like an inclusiveness to the product to trap in the skincare i think that's really cool and i like that it has skincare in it do i think the skincare makes a huge difference in makeup i i really don't you would have to be using this like religiously every single day to really see a lot of benefit from that but i do think it does give a little bit of instant benefit as far as it looks smooth on the skin it doesn't emphasize any texture pores if anything kind of minimizes it because this is a very like a silicone primer heavy type product like this is almost like a, a primer and bronzer combined like it has that pore feeling kind of feel to it and it does have that very silicone slip to it just but the putty bronzer also kind of has that feel to it but i don't think it has nearly as refined skincare and ingredients as a charlotte tilbury but then again if you're just looking for like a, a similar product the putty bronzer is pretty close i don't think anybody would look at you and be like oh that's not the charlotte tilbury that's putty bronzer no one's going to tell the difference, but I do like that this has that very smoothing look to the skin. And I do think it does help because I tend to have some texture like right in this area where I had acne and, you know, and it does make it look very smooth and very kind of healthy, hydrated. This is a really pretty bronzer and it is really long wearing. I've found it does, it doesn't fade on me throughout the day. It just sits nicely. It's one that I have found myself reaching for constantly and I actually apply it a little bit different than I normally apply a bronzer type product. I'm, I usually have a little bit of a lighter hand with a bronzer. I don't do the whole like adding a ton of warmth to my face. But I found this one is just very conducive to doing that. Like I actually kind of give myself that sun-kissed kind of bronzed look through the, up onto the cheeks. And I apply it almost like a blush. And I think that looks so pretty for this time of year. As this is like midsummer that I'm filming this. It has just been really really nice on the skin I do think it gives a very kind of airbrush perfecting quality to it so it's it's really nice for those light no makeup makeup days and it's a very very easy product to use and I find it to be quite buildable without looking heavy I personally really like to start out with a fairly small amount and instead of using kind of a denser brush like you would normally use with a cream product I like to take something like this which is a traditional kind of powder brush or a blush brush and it's kind of soft it's not super super dense it's just a powder brush or a blush brush and I swirl it in the powder and then knock off any excess like right here and kind of work it into the brush really well and start light and then build from there and I found that to be a very effective way to apply this product I also use it to kind of blend my face in with my neck where I have self tan on I think it does a really good job with that the shade medium actually suits me fairly well, I think. It works well with my self-tanner. It is a bit of a more yellowy, undertoned bronzer. It doesn't have the orangey redness within this one so much. But it is very pretty and just very so, so blendable. And I would say kind of um, goof-proof. Especially with a cream bronzer, they can be a little tricky. Like if you're not used to using cream products, a cream bronzer can definitely be one that can get away from you. This is super like easy to use and I would like to have it in the lighter shade for the winter months when I don't want to have self tan on. 
but I can use this with a really light hand without the self tan, but I just think this shade with self tan is like a match made in heaven for me. It suits me very well. And I think the four shades they do have are very pretty and very versatile because it is so buildable and also very easy to sheer out. And yeah, it's just a lovely product all around and I don't think you would be disappointed with it if you spent the, what was it, <laughs> $56 on it. And you do get a generous amount of product. 21 grams and I feel like this is gonna last quite some time and it hasn't dried out or anything on me it's very secure closure I don't feel like it's gotten stiff or anything weird over the month that I've been using it it's held up beautifully you can even still see the embossing in there which I think is really cool this is a very stiff kind of product like it's not greasy or smishy or slidey it's very powdery almost and just really does glide into the skin. It feels like a primer. Yeah, it feels like one of those primers you get that is in like a tub, almost like a putty primer. It has that kind of feel to it. And it does have a really pretty, just soft skin-like glow. And yeah, I think it's gorgeous for summer and all around. I do like that you can use it on the body, that it's big enough that you can take a larger brush in here and just dust it on shoulders, chest, neck, wherever, and it's gonna hold up in the heat and humidity. And that's also a very good thing to have in somewhere like I live, where it is super humid, pretty much year round, it's humid, just it's a lot hotter in the summer. I live in a pretty wet climate, and um, like right now we're having like heat indexes in the hundreds, and this has uh, held up beautifully. I've really reached for it every day that I've wanted to put a bronzer on, which has been almost every day. And yeah, I wanted to go ahead and review it and talk about it with you guys because I'm happy with it. I think it's a really, really nice product. And I don't think anyone would be disappointed with this if they purchased it. So yeah, I think that is all for today, kind of quick. I just wanted to really go over the claims here and talk about if this was worth it. I know I, I did a first impression on it a while back, so I wanted to kind of update and yeah, good product. And I don't think you would uh, be mad about it. And again, if you want to save some money, you don't want to spend $56 on a bronzer. Tan lines is virtually the same as the medium shade. I think the difference would be the e.l.f. one feels, they feel pretty much the same. <laughs> I mean, the e.l.f. one might be a little bit powderier, more powdery feeling. But yeah, if you're in the market for a cream bronzer, I think that's a, a really nice one to try out. And I do think the shades are pretty really lovely. I think Charlotte Tilbury does a good job on her bronzer contour shades. She does good with color, with complexions, quite. Like, she does very nice undertones, very nuanced, and just lovely. Lovely product all around. So yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for hanging out. Let me know down below what you think of this bronzer, and if you have any other suggestions of bronzers you would like to see me try out on my ghostly skin, I can go without putting some self tan on and try some bronzers out for you guys. Let me know and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay spooky.